there's there's an there's an incredible talent base in India. So for Joe and I, you know, we aspire to be international storytellers. We really are excited by the ability that we all have in this day and age to communicate globally through cinema. And it's an incredible opportunity. And we find it the most resonant and sort of satisfying version of cinema is when you can communicate with people mm -hmm. around the world through mm -hmm. a movie, with a movie. Uh, be true to the story you're telling. Uh, be true to make a great film, uh, to give that film everything it needs. Uh, you give it the uh, finances, you give it the uh, talent, you give it the production design, you give it the actors, you give it all of that. You treat it like that, like 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 your baby. You give it the best of everything. You give it the best of post and a great um, release date. And uh, yeah, so I really want to retain that childlike quality and that creative quality that, that brought me here in the first place. And um, that's my, that's what I'm striving towards. Mm -hmm. um, I want to keep obviously growing as a performer and keep uh, maturing as a performer, but I don't want to lose that, that thing that makes me who I am and makes me want to do this. Learn as an actor to be able to be in the company of, of people who I can learn with. They don't have to be big stars or big banners or whatever. You know, it, that's, that's, I mean, obviously that is there. That's great. I'm not complaining. <laughs> the West looks at the poverty in India is also very one dimensional poverty, you know, yeah, because, sure. uh, and, and, and uh, the thing is that there are so many people like all the kids I have in my film, they all come from a very modest or very poor background. And you can go to their villages, you know, you can see how they live. You know, it's because somehow they don't have that huge reference that, oh, we are poor. They are super happy in their life. You know, they are, they're really, as far as they know, they are getting nice, you know, small hut, small house to live. Sometimes six of them are living inside, but they are smiling the moment you go there. They have enough food to eat. You know, the one father is a cobbler, one is an auto rickshaw driver. So it's, it's not that pathetic, pitiful poverty, you know, uh, you know, and, and it's, it is the opposite, you know, I see the rich people in the same village, far more frustrated, you know, far more stressed out than yeah. these kids, you know. <laughs> With fame comes responsibility. And when I did this movie, it, I took on a responsibility in a sense that I wanted this message to reach as many people as possible. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, so that was one of the, uh, you know, driving forces uh, behind it. Um, of course, we see in our own lives, we meet so many people, we have friends um, wh whose stories we know, uh, and uh, we've heard so many instances. We are not, we are not in living in a vacuum, you know, yeah. we are living with people and we see so many things happen around us. It's okay to feel what you're feeling. I think sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves that we have to have to be happy all the time. We have to be positive all, all of the time. But I think life is about experiencing a range of emotions. And I think sometimes we just need to let ourselves be and not put so much pressure on ourselves that we have to be strong. We have to deal with it uh, with a smile on our face, you know. I feel like sometimes yeah. we have to to let it out, and that's also an experience. In I it. was uh, definitely drawn to wanting to create a visual effects entertainment fantasy trilogy, which really took its roots and its inspiration from Indian spirituality. That was a very clear header on the film. But despite that, when I started, uh, I hadn't thought of the name Brahmastra, so I, I had gone with the word dragon because it was about a boy who has this power of fire. School uh, my mother sent all of us with a khane ka dabba to see Karjat play. Eki din kahe te hum shooting and I remember Sarika ma'am. Very young I think. To exceed the ganna vanna lekhar ke ke ba she is trying to bluff. I tell them that she is. Yeah, wo lagi thi. There's some suitors have come to, so she's telling them wo in very kuchpuri some language she's saying that she, uh, uh, some things are wrong with the girl. So I'm, I'm memories of Sarikom. <laughs> <laughs> like jumping around. <laughs> no, wow. but that, that is Rashi's, that is Rashi's uh, uh, the the values, if you call them, or you call them basic. I think it's 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 a belief. I think it's more on human emotions and relationships yeah. and that tazeeb and tamiz, you know, all that kind yeah. of 